Now I want to get into the film breakdown as soon as possible to answer the question in the title, but first we need to address something I'm sure everyone's been seeing, and it's the question of the entire Patriots' first two picks in the NFL Draft with Cole Strange and Tyquan Thornton. Did they reach? And to me, I don't agree with what everyone is saying, so I want to offer a new perspective on how to look at things before we get into the film. The draft is very different for teams looking to build and teams that are playoff caliber looking to contend. The Patriots being the latter, this puts them in a different category. The teams looking to build need to go with the best available. If they have holes at left tackle, tight end, and free safety, they should take a left tackle in the first round before the other positions because overall, that's going to be more important for long-term success. Playoff caliber teams are looking for best fit for their scheme. The Patriots needed a guard and a speed receiver that poses a deep threat every time they step on the field. And when they're on the clock, they have to ask themselves and look at their big board, are we 100% sure that they're going to be there for our next selection? And can we 100% guarantee that all 31 other teams don't rank them as high as we do and he's still going to be there come the Pats next pick? If you can't answer yes, then grab him. That's your guy. And with this perspective to me, they didn't reach for either guy, but that doesn't mean it still couldn't be a bad pick. Hindsight might tell us that Alec Pierce or Sky Moore would have played the role as a deep threat better, as both of them were still available to take. But I just want to explain my reasoning why I don't think they reached. They obviously could have picked another guard or receiver, so they got who they wanted. But now, let's try and answer that question. Let's hop into the film analysis and see if they did make the right choice and see what Tyquan Thornton is going to bring to the New England offense. To quickly note, Tyquan Thornton is 6'2 and a half, 180 pounds, and has very long arms. He also most notably ran a 4'2840 at the combine, which is an incredibly unique combination of size and speed. And he also he has both kinds of speeds. He has the quick, twitchy speed, and he has the long striding distance speed. For example, I think Tyreek Hill has both, but in the other categories, I think Hunter Renfro is a lot more quicky twitch speed, and DK Metcalf has a really good long distance hawk you down kind of speed but let's see how that shows up on film and in this film analysis we're going to be looking at his strengths and weaknesses but we're not going to be looking at a ton of go balls and deep posts where he takes the top over the defense because we know running a 4 to 8 in college he's going to have a lot of those we're going to try and look at some other things like on this play he's just going to have a glance route over the middle of the field but a play like this shows me he's a very smart receiver and it's going to pair very well with Mac Jones. He doesn't come out like a cannon every single play using his 4 8 speed. He has really good control of pace. He locks eyes with his receivers right now as he's going to be going in the blind spot and behind this first linebacker that's responsible for the running back. He locks eyes, he throttles down, and he actually squares off with the quarterback. This eye contact and squaring off before he gets to the safety, if he were to just take off right across the middle of the field with his speed, this is going to be an interception. This is quarterback friendly. The quarterback, this might look like a bad throw. This is actually perfect anywhere else. It's going to be intercepted and he's going to be off to the races. And if we look at the point of contact with this, love this eye contact, love how he rounds off, how he settles down in the soft spot in the zone. And he has really, really long arms and he is really good at contested catches in traffic, especially over the middle of the field. And with a lot of these speedy receivers in college, we see a track guy playing football. Tyquan Thornton is a football player that happens to be very fast. And when we see a fade route at the top of your screen, how he uses his body, he controls it. He still has late hands. He has great focus. He can contort his body, focus on the ball, and bring it in, keep both feet in bounds for a huge touchdown. And now we really get to see what his speed does and how it can absolutely break a game open. First, a couple things I need to note. West Virginia's defense, this overloaded side to the short side of the field is just mind boggling to me. I just don't quite understand it. But what we're going to have right here is we're going to have a slant and the running back out in the flats. And we're going to see what his speed does when he's able to really open it up. And I know this isn't a quarterback film analysis, but a few things on this as he starts to drop back and he's going to see that it's man coverage. The ball should be going right here in the running back in the flats. There's almost no one on this side of the field. We see the linebacker and you're actually throwing the linebacker right into the slant route. And if you're going to throw this, make sure the linebacker is able to pass and you're going to be able to hit it on the second window. That doesn't happen. This isn't a quarterback film analysis, but let's see what Tyquan Thornton does when he gets the ball. So he's going to make this catch over the middle of the field. And then right here is where 
where you start to see he gets it and he's gonna start to pick his angle and this is where the safety starts to do some geometry in his head he sees where Tycon Thornton is he's about three yards above him so he's gonna pick his angle on where he thinks he can make this tackle before he reaches the end zone but when you have 428 speed you really start to see there really is no angle you can take he is off to the races there's actually no shot of him being brought in down before he reaches the end zone and that's a huge weapon to have if you can get your guy into open space this is a really easy the man coverage the corners so far off because he has to respect the deep ball but when you get a guy like this if he ran a 457 like a Kendrick Bourne did maybe he's getting hawked down at the 20 or the 15 yard line this is seven points right here and this is what the Patriots are adding getting him the ball in open space because he does have good size to take hits over the middle of the field and there is absolutely no catching him here and we can talk about how bad the West Virginia defense was here as this was a part of his eight reception, 187 yard game, this being a lot of them right here. But the idea stays the same at the next level in the NFL, getting the ball in open space because really no safety or corner is gonna be able to out angle this type of speed. So in this play against Texas, Tyquan Thornton's gonna be at the top of your screen. This corner against Texas is in some sort of cover three, but he has to protect over the top because if Tyquan Thornton decides to run a go ball, it is essentially gonna turn into man to man coverage and this isn't the weakness part of his film analysis yet but he does struggle with getting in and out of his cuts starting and stopping in the intermediate level but you can kind of cover this up with speed because look at the corner how right now he kind of has to bail out and he's almost ready to fully turn and sprint if he wants to get over the top of Tyquan Thornton so right now is this route the best no it kind of rounds off and this is the stuff that matters when I do a Cooper Cup or Devonte Adams film analysis and I say they break it off at a 90 degree angle this is what I'm really talking about he rounds it off but the threat of speed really kind of covers up for this and he's still able to make an easy catch for a first down conversion and the last play before we get into some of the weaknesses, we can see Tyquan Thornton, we can actually only see his feet at the top of the screen, but this is just another example of him being a very smart receiver. As he controls the pace, immediately this corner is going to bail off, so he knows he can make this cut on the slant immediately, but he really throttles it down. I mean, for Tyquan Thornton, this is pretty much walking speed, but if he knows if he uses his 428 speed to go across the middle, he is going to get absolutely decapitated, becomes quarterback friendly, and we can watch his full speed. Look how much he throttles this down and able to keep this window open for as long as possible and again concentration catching the ball over the middle of the field so he's definitely more than just a fast receiver but he does still have some things I would love to see him fix and this is gonna be him at the bottom of the screen and I would love to see him work on his releases because right now they're actually pretty poor and you're not gonna see this coverage too much on him unless there's a safety over the top because no sane defense is gonna leave him an impressed man but on his release package as this play starts out he's doing a lot right here and accomplishing nothing so we're a few seconds into this play already it's just chop 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 the corner's just able to sit back sit on his hip Hips, read his hips and then still be able to engage contact Tyquan Thornton hasn't created any separation and now he's just gonna kind of try and run into his route we're about two and a half seconds almost three seconds into this play and nothing's really happened but then we do see a positive in this play the quarterback still gonna throw it to him the corner is draped all over him he has great hands he's able to make this catch but again with releases like this especially at the college level and the NFL level this is just not gonna fly he does nothing here he's really Really gonna have to clean up get a better release package because he's doing a whole lot of nothing and as a receiver getting in and out of your breaks is everything you can have 428 speed but how fast can you go from full speed to nothing nothing to full so we're gonna see him at the top of your screen it's gonna be a third and six and there's gonna be a very simple hitch route at the top of your screen so on the snap of the ball Tyquan Thornton's gonna release up the field and then this is where we're gonna see it right here so he's gonna plant this right foot and the goal of this is to plant your right foot anchor your left foot and be right at the first down marker and that's what he tries to do but he just can't slow down in time he can't control his body well enough to get in that position so right foot left foot right here needs to anchor and this is what the elite receivers in the NFL do crisp route running but he can't slow himself down in time he drifts a full two yards up the field and look at where this ball is thrown if Tyquan Thornton right at the sticks this is a perfectly placed ball this is where it was supposed to be he is he does have freakishly long arms he is a very good athlete he was able to come down with this catch but this is just the type of route running start stop getting in and out of his cuts where he just kind of drifts upfield that I saw a lot when watching his games at Baylor 
And the last play before we start to really dive into what his scheme wise it's going to look like him being in New England and where his strengths and weaknesses are going to play in. This is going to be an RPO at the goal line. The quarterback is reading this guy right here. If he comes to start the run, they're going to throw this slant route to Tyquan Thornton. But if we're specifically locking in on Tyquan Thornton right now, this type of release just isn't going to get it done at the NFL level. And I feel like he was really crutched by using his speed sometimes in these sort of situations because on the snap of the ball, if the quarterback's reading this, he's reading the linebacker. He's not looking to see if you're winning or losing the route or not. If the linebacker comes in, he's going to pull it and be ready to rip in the slant. So right now, Tyquan Thornton's just kind of making these choppy steps, not really doing too much. And at the NFL, the corner doesn't even have his hands up. If the corner was physical at all, he would be so easy to just throw him off his route right here. But he barely even gets a hand on him. And as Tyquan Thornton realizes that he really hasn't created any real separation, he's just going to break it in and try and beat him with speed, which he can do and he did do at the college level but at the NFL level going against top corners I just don't see this even the quarterback couldn't keep up with how fast he was running across the middle threw it behind him a little pirouette catch the ball very nicely done the end of the play was much better but it's the little things that really matter at the wide receiver position and I did see him only continue to improve as he had his best season at Baylor. Even though he started as true freshman year, he continued to get better. And in 2021, he had 62 catches for 948 yards and 10 touchdowns. And something we don't talk about, he is a very good and high effort run blocker. This is going to allow him to see the field a lot, especially in New England's offense. And I wish this got talked about more when we were broke down receivers. So from now on, I promised myself I would mention this in every receiver breakdown I did. And he is a lot better at running long routes and short routes not so much as good as running the intermediate routes which makes his route tree more limited in other videos i talk about what it looks like being a three level receiver like deandre hopkins Devonte adams and tyree kill but thornton is best at drag routes quick slants and deep balls this is because his start and stop his cups and going full speed and changing directions just need some work and this is what i mean when talking about running intermediate routes and route running but this is something that can be worked on unlike other things things you can't teach his raw speed. But now to talk about why I think New England made this pick and how I think he's going to fit in their scheme. Nelson Aguilar has wheels running mid 4-3. Devontae Parker is a beast when he's healthy, but Kendrick Bourne and Nikhil Harry both ran mid to upper 4-5s, which is slower in the NFL receiving world. Obviously not in the making and watching YouTube video world, but most importantly, they have two really good tight ends. And a speed receiver, especially if they line him up in the slot, this puts a ton of pressure on linebackers and safety. Safeties. And linebackers have to worry about not only the run game, but both Hunter Henry and Jonu Smith. This opens up the running game, which he's a very good run blocker, and this opens up play action. So scheme-wise, this was a very big need in their offense, using his raw speed a lot of the times to open other things up. And the things we noted in the video is why I think he'll be a good fit, but we also see why he wasn't a day one selection because he has some work to do with his releases and his cuts down the field. But these can be worked on, his speed can't. And most recently, people label the Patriots as unable to draft or develop receivers because of Nikhil Harry, but they do have a track record of drafting and getting the most out of receivers that they've taken in the draft. Like, let's look at Julian Edelman, Matthew Slater, Deion Branch, David Givens, but also some bad misses as well. So my final conclusion, I don't think we can look at Tyquan Thornton the same way we do some of these other receivers who are going to be asked to do more. I think New England, like how I started this video, has a very clear need that he is going to fill. He also happens to bring more than speed to the table. He has very good hands. He has smooth routes down the field to get the corner or safety's hips turned. He will also be used to open up things for the two tight ends on clear routes. He will be on the field because he is a very aggressive and willing run blocker. However, However, he does have some things he needs to refine if he wants to become more dimensional. He has the tools, but he needs to clean up his releases and his start-stop ability and shark cup down the field. And hopefully, he will work on those things in New England. This pick in a few years will be seen as an absolute steal. But that's what I think. Let me know what you guys think. Make sure to like this video if you like videos like these. Make sure to comment down below what you think about Tyquan Thornton and the Patriots draft overall and what you think about my original synopsis on what did they reach or not. Make sure to subscribe if you enjoy daily sports content. I appreciate y'all so much for checking out the channel. And as always, I will see you all tomorrow. Peace.